Threat neutralized. Hi, this is Double1975, and today I'm bringing you a TDM from Black Ops 3. It's mostly of a most of a TDM, not all of it. You'll see why as the gameplay goes on. Now, as you may have noticed, my channel has become a bit more Elite Dangerous heavy than normal and less COD. The reason for this is a couple of things. One is my connection in COD is still a bit iffy at the best of times, and occasionally it's almost completely unplayable for me. This is a problem with my home internet connection and not really a lot I can do about it. Elite Dangerous is a lot more forgiving on connections, so I can get away with it, but Call of Duty is really connection dependent. So when I have a little bit of wigging out and my connection goes a bit squiffy, I get booted from the game in COD on the most part and things go really, really wrong. Whereas if I get a squiffy moment in Elite Dangerous, I cop a bit of lag and it's not a problem. Even if it happens at a crucial moment in a gun battle, it's not really a big thing in Elite Dangerous. It's just that sort of game. It's not the same as COD. So, all in all, I've been playing a lot more Elite Dangerous because at the moment my connection can cope with Elite Dangerous. Also, I've got a problem with my controller. My RB button has died. Uh, the RB button on my controller was on its way out for a long time. And this means in Call of Duty, I can't activate my specialist ability, which is kind of ironic considering how much I've moaned about the specialist ability. So now not having the specialist ability is kind of almost like karmic, I suppose, in a way. But all in all, I still play Call of Duty without using RB. On Elite Dangerous, I can button map and I lose the ability to look around my cockpit and use that button for RB instead because RB in Elite Dangerous is Accelerate which is kind of crucial whereas looking around your cockpit is very nice but not ultimately that crucial. Now as far as COD goes I will be playing more COD soon and I will be posting more Call of Duty content again soon. This is just a temporary thing while I'm playing more Elite I'll post more Elite Dangerous. Also I'm enjoying Elite Dangerous and this channel is always going to be a reflection of what I play and what I enjoy. However, this channel was founded on Call of Duty and Call of Duty will remain a cornerstone of this channel. So those of you who are annoyed that I'm posting all Elite content and not much Call of Duty, don't worry, things will change. And there you see my connection has gone to poo. Gone squiffy. Bit odd. There we go. I thought I was back. And you'll see this is really weird. So I dropped through a one bar, my connection went funny. I then come back and I'm fine for a bit. I kill these two people and then suddenly I'm swimming on the other side of the map. That is odd. Now if your connection was doing this, trust me, playing Call of Duty becomes a bit of a pain in the butt. But I'm sure it's a temporary thing and I'm sure it will get sorted soon enough. I think when we had recent storms and stuff there was damage to the lines and I've got to go on to BT and get it sorted but that's what I get for living in the middle of the country. There's not many internet users in my village that's gonna notice this sort of thing. They're not really into online gaming that much in this village. I think I'm the only gamer in the village. But all in all, this channel will remain Call of Duty. I will post Elite Dangerous if I play Elite Dangerous. I will post other things if I play other things. And of course, I'll still be posting pet videos because we've got the menagerie to uh, film and there's always something going on with the animals. So I'll leave you with the rest of this gameplay. It's not the greatest score in the world, but then considering what was happening to my connection and generally what was happening in game, it wasn't too bad. That's all for me speaking. Enjoy the rest of this video.